play an 8T, that's a Francis Gold, he discovered the fingerprinting method. And he said that no two fingerprints, even in millions of people, are identical. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Integral Fanelungu, back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu and on this channel we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything you want us to react to in particular, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. We've got a second YouTube channel so you guys can head there and subscribe. It's called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and enjoy the content that we're putting out. We've got a podcast called Diving In With Fanny and Jesse and you guys can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel or our second YouTube channel and just enjoy the conversations. And we've got a Patreon called Fanny and Jesse. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting, sharing and everything else that you guys are doing. We appreciate each one of you guys. So thank you. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to a fingerprinting method discovered in 1880. It's mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago, Dr. Zaki Naik. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Time does not permit me to speak a lot about science. I'll just give one more example which is mentioned in the Quran. The Quran mentions in Surah Qiyamah, chapter number 75, verse number 3 and 4, that when the unbelievers say that how will Almighty God be able to reconstruct our bones? After we are dead, we are buried, our bones have got disintegrated. On the day of judgment, how will Almighty God be able to reconstruct our bones? Almighty God replies in the Quran and says, tell them. Almighty God can not only reconstruct the bones, he can even reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of the fingers. What does Quran mean by saying God can not only reconstruct the bones, he can even reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of the fingers. It was in 1880 that Sir Francis Gold, he discovered the fingerprinting method. And he said that no two fingerprints, even in millions of people, are identical. And today, this fingerprinting method is used by the police to identify the criminal. It's used by CIA, by FBI, by the police worldwide. This Quran mentions 1400 years ago. Francis Bacon, a very famous philosopher, he said, little knowledge of science makes a person an atheist, but in-depth knowledge of science makes a person a believer in God. That is the reason today scientists are not eliminating God, they are eliminating models of God. La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. Seems like the Quran has a lot of, um, I don't want to say predicted, what did I want to say? Has a lot of um, stuff in there now that are being that have been discovered over time. I guess that's the word I was going for. Uh, discovered over time. So what, it, it makes one wonder what else does the Quran hold? What else does it have to tell us about maybe discoveries, inventions, whatever the case is. Like what more is there to discover through the Quran or is written down in the Quran? Otherwise, a big shout out to the person that suggested this all is giving us amazing and new things to react to all the time so a big shout out to you and yeah thank you for bringing this across to us and yeah let me know what you think about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video